I'm really into kind of splashes of silver um, and metallics in general. I was a gold person for a long time, but the, the comeback of silver made me really happy because I have like my grandma's rings and my aunt's rings and all just like fistfuls of rings and they're all silver. I like felt hats. Yeah, I like, I like a good floppy kind of felt hat. In California, you kind of look ridiculous if you're wearing like knitted hats at any given moment. I'm a beanie fan, so I like the excuse to finally be able to, you know, rock the headwear a bit more. My fashion inspiration, I love Emma Stone. I like her because anyone who, who's that funny and that talented doesn't feel, she doesn't feel the need to prove that she's like pretty or glamorous, um, but she always looks classic, she always looks classy. She dresses very well for her body and for her hair color, and my hair color jumps around a bit too, so I, um, I think she's radical. I think over the years my style has gotten just a bit braver, um, kind of making things less compartmentalized and less kind of matchy and really going with them. And also I know how to dress for my body now. You know, when you're a teenager, it's like awkward and you're growing and you don't really know kind of what's going on. But, you know, I feel like there's a difference between like fashion and style. And style is knowing what looks good on you, what you feel comfortable in. I listen to what's good for my body, um, no matter what is kind of fashionable and, and what's kind of on the trends. And I definitely keep ahead of what's on the runways and how I can personalize it to myself. I don't like kind of like those A-line racer back shirts that get wide at the bottom. I'm like, mm, but then you don't have a chest and you have really big hips and you kind of skim right over your waist, so curves. I'm a fan of an old school silhouette and there's a Marilyn Monroe quote that is, your clothes should be tight enough to show you're a woman but loose enough to show you're a lady. Usually rings. Usually I have, I wear a ring up here. I remember my dad's class ring. I wear like, my grandma's stuff or, or like an old pendant that she has and I'll put it on a different necklace and things like that. And I like. I like wearing my family and wearing my loved ones and memories and vintage stores from places that I've worked or places that I've visited and traveled. I like wearing my souvenirs on me. It's not true. There are some definite fashion things in the works um, and I've been, you know, been very blessed to have worn some amazing up and coming designers and as well some established classic timeless brands over the last couple of years. I've really, really built up my fashion portfolio and I'm excited about it. I love it. It's something that I really, really love and love learning about. Creating fashion is something that I've always been really into. Um, so I would definitely, I would definitely be interested in doing that, but I would want to make sure that it would be in my timing. Um, that I can learn as much as possible, that I can grow as much as possible, and, and have a really, really great team of people around me who know what they're doing and who get what I'm trying to do. I'm very fashion conscious, um, as well as playing my fans into that, and I'm also very creatively involved in fashion. So definitely have my name and my eye on a few fashion opportunities, but no, right now I'm not creating a line per se. I'm Debbie Ryan, and you're watching hollywire.com.